Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can further customize your previously created bubble chart. So what we had created a chart like this. So if I come back to home, yeah, a chart like this. So what we are going to do now, generally, you know, uh, this is a, this was a simple chart, but how we want is a chart where we have the different dimensions like uh, ship mode, for example. So ship uh, a chart by ship mode or a bubble chart by ship mode for both sales and profit so that you can clearly see how each of these dimension is impacting or order priority, maybe low, high and medium. So how we can do that, I will show you in this video. So for that, what do we need to do is basically need to create traces. So trace zero is something what we need to create and uh, what I'll do is I will just going to copy this. I'm not going to write it. So I will just copy this what we created it earlier. So go dot scatter X and Y and text and mode markers and markers dictionary size. All right. Now what I need to do a small modification. Let's say if I want it by order priority, then what I'll go going to do is I will simply say for this order sales give me only that uh, uh, sales which is related to a particular order priority which can be either low or medium or high. So for that I will open a bracket here and say orders within that another bracket order priority equals equals to high. Right, and here instead of text, let me put uh, name, let me call it high so that a legend is appearing or a name is appearing when the legend is there. Mode is equals to markers, and here also I need to say copy this first of all, paste it here because the same thing, and the same thing over here. So, what we are saying give me only those sales where order priority is high similarly give me only that profit where order priority is high and then we are using only that discount where order save for sales and profit order priority is high right so that's first i will going to copy this and paste and one more for one for medium and trace one so one for medium and another one for low all right so i will say medium over here and uh, medium over here i think medium over here and medium over here so yeah just need to do configuration once and you have a very high level of uh, customization in your hand when you are doing this so let me just quickly change everything and we are pretty much there all right um so mode is equals to markers over here okay comma um, comma and another comma perfect okay so now when i need data I will say trace 0, trace 1, and trace 2. And I will just copy the layout from here. Um, yeah, copy the layout which I created it earlier. Alright, uh, okay. Fig is equals to go dot layout. Within that, data is data and layout is layout all right so it has given me the error let me see what i have done go dot figure sorry about that and then say pyo dot plot fig okay so now if you see it is a better or a more beautiful chart uh, for an eye because now you have high medium and low and uh, as you can see high is represented by blue 
so we can clearly see what is our high priority orders where is our medium priority orders and where is our low priority orders and accordingly you have profit sales and the discount that you have given on these orders and you can slice and dice like any other plot chart so this is what i wanted to show you in this video about how you can uh, make a chart like this high for high medium and low priority similarly you can take any other dimension of your interest uh, which by which you want to see it and as i mentioned this is just a starting but uh, as we go more and more into the um, into this uh, analysis and business condition it becomes increasingly complex so yeah i i would not uh, surprise if you come back and ask a really complex question about it so so yeah keep keep exploring and keep telling me as well uh, if something new you are figuring out into the comments so that's pretty much it i have for you in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic